All right, tell us how specifically analytics or data science can help within the trust and safety domain. So uh, within the trust and safety domain, uh, you use a lot of data and a lot of uh, advanced technical skills in order to understand how the abuses can happen and in order to prevent those abuses by implementing the solution at a very large scale. Because uh, these product companies generally are very big, uh, their user base is actually very big. So what happens in this domain actually is as and when the trust and safety team of a product improves their technicalities or they kind of have a solution to, uh, uh, to an abuse, that's when the, even the abusers get better at their job, you know. So it's a very uh, tough competition between these two. So both of them need to like keep up with each other, which is why within the trust and safety team, the analytics as such needs to be very, very high in terms of uh, the technology that they use or the analytics that they put in. And uh, mostly how analytics is used is to, uh, you know, you try and take out insights as to what was the issue, what actually happened, how to probably fix that problem, not just temporarily, but in a long term, that it doesn't happen probably in a different product that the company has. Got it. Sounds, sounds very, very interesting.